What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Blueface ends convo and tells Krishan Rock not to make it about her on Crazy in Love Season 2. All right, we're going to be keeping up with this, so no worries. I wasn't going to do it tonight, but we got to stay in the algorithm. Let's get it. Just being selfish no, again. You're just to be oh, you're not stuck with me. I, I can take care of the like, kid by myself. I can now, I did watch this, okay? Now, first of all, I'm going to just put it out here like this. It was boring as hell at first for me. I was trying to get to the point. They so long winded, but I'm not going to lie. This is the first episode. So, let me relax. The first episode, it was, you know, I love the edits. Um, they put a lot of, it seems like a, a lot of money into the production of this. So, I liked it. Um, but I feel like I'm, I'm a watch. Can leave, that. Can't. Wait, Man, dude, they want no more parts in it. Stop talking to me. Come on, why are you grabbing on me? Because I'm at my event. Right? Why are you making it about you? If I'm, I'm at, if I'm at my event, why? Oh, the conversation is over. I gotta weigh in because I have business. Can, you, can we talk later? Kiss? Can you hug me? Can you stop? Can you stop? He was trying to kiss you. I ain't gonna lie. I am. Right, chill. Here you go. He got away. All right. Yeah, don't make it about you. Right I'm not. Now. If you want to stay on the bus, stay on Nobody the bus. Nobody stay on the bus. Okay. <clears throat> so, watching the episode, right? He seemed like he was trying to get out of her. Um, something about lying about sleeping with a certain amount of guys, right? So he keeps saying, and he keeps using the example, if you sleep with 10 guys, basically you need to let me know. All right, so he want her to take a lie detector test on those questions. Now remember, she took the lie detector test and passed everything, right? Not only that, he the father. So maybe um, at that time, he was just feeling very insecure about that, and he just didn't know, right? But my issue with it was he was making it seem like she was the one who kept bringing it up. And granted, they do have they do do a whole lot of edits. So I don't know. But it seemed like he was bringing it up. You know, <laughs> he kept talking about it. But then he like, don't make it about you. But you keep talking about me. So she's like, let it go. Fuck this. I mean, I'll show you. You know what I'm saying? We can go to a clinic right now. You know, and he just says a lot of things that can. um. He just kind of antagonizes her in the process of him being aggravated about him feeling as though she's lying. You know what I'm saying? So he's already aggravated and just insecure about uh, what it is. He feels as though she's lying and or telling the truth about. And uh, I feel like she just didn't want to talk about it because she know she ain't lying. So that's, that's where I'm at with that. <clears throat> This goddamn season is going to be about this blue face going off on her ass, Krishan crying. Um, I'm going to go to Instagram, so y'all give me a second. We're going to go to Instagram because they already posted it on the Neighborhood Talk. The Neighborhood Talk is going to be the plug for this uh, because they keep up with everything. I think they get paid to do so. <laughs> so we're going to get into that uh, and these comments. Now, <clears throat> I think they show the exact same clip. Uh, unless they show multiple clips. Yeah, I think they did. So here's the exact same clip for real. Let's watch it. I can like, leave by myself. I can leave. I can... Man, oh my God. It's Just thing. shut up. Stop talking what to me. Come on. And you know, he gets so aggravated with her because he feels as though she's lying. And it's the, the consistent bantering for me. Like he's so goddamn rude. Y'all he can't talk to a woman in a respectful manner. You know, only unless he wants something, I feel like. Why are you grabbing on me? Because I'm at my doing? event. Why are you making it about you? If I'm, I'm, at, if I'm at my event, why? Now, he had the right to get her the hell up off of him because I, I got shit to do. Uh, But I feel like he was making it about her more than she was making it about her. Oh, the conversation is over. I got to weigh in because I have business. Can, you can we talk me later? Kiss? Can you hug me? Can you stop? <laughs> yes, well, kiss. He said, "Yeah." Can you stop? I am. All right, right chill. Go. He got away. All yeah, right. Don't make it about you. Right I'm not. Now. If you want to stay on the bus, stay nobody's like, standing. Them on tears the bus. don't matter. <laughs> them tears do not matter. I got shit to do. So let's look at these comments. <clears throat> that man lacks nutrients. He's full of Casamigos and blunts. That is hilarious. Um, the why you trying to make it about you is projecting. Oh my God, he's really jealous of her, and I agree. Now I don't think he's jealous in the sense of. Um, like he hating on her. I don't think 
think he hating? That's a lie. Because I, I know I've said he, he hating before. But sometimes it feel like he hating and sometimes it doesn't. In this situation, this is not an example of hating. Uh, you know what? That's Cap. And one of the scenes he did say, this ain't about Krishan. Krishan, 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 this is about me. We're talking about me. This event is about me. So I I, I recant that, that statement. He is a fucking hater. But with that being said, him speaking about her cheating and him wanting to know, like, how you get so upset about that? And your motherfucking ass got an event, which I feel what they saying on projecting because she she didn't start that. At least that's not what it shows. So she like, nigga, stop talking about it. He like, you stop talking about it. You're saying things that I have to respond to. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I have to put a lot of edits on this because you know what I'm saying? This is a, we're talking about a network here. Um, This is absolutely sad. I wish y'all would stop promoting it, but y'all love to tear your own people down. Girl. Um, she needs to learn self love. She up under his balls too damn much. Facts. I'm sorry, but he was trying to go. People overlook her toxic shit. Bullshit. She he wasn't trying to go until it was time to go. But had the ride been a little longer, he would have kept talking about it. But in the in the convenience for himself, he was ready to get up out of that sprinter because he had shit to do. Um, let's go to another clip. All right. This bitch keeps saying I'm so I'm going to mute this part because it has a sound to it and I'm sure it's going to copyright. So basically on this scene right here, he was telling her, you're not going to be able to have a child and do nothing. We've already seen th these lives. Um, he went to the house. She burned up his stuff. He's saying a pregnant woman shouldn't be doing that. Um, and he's basically continuously speaking about the baby. And I also think he is stressed at the fact that she is having his baby. You know, I and, and and what's so contradictive about it? And she was really upset in this scene, crying, saying that she didn't want that damn baby anymore. Um, and like I thought I was a couple months, nigga. I'm five months, so now she can't get rid of the baby, type shit. So here's my issue with this as well. Why is it that? And for some reason, when she went to the house, girl, all her shit was out of the house. So we got to figure out where her shit is. Okay. Why is it that? Jaden can just be drunk out here looking like a drunk Stewie, respectfully. Um, she just looks so crazy when she's drunk, right? Just be drunk doing her. Why Krishan can't do the same, you know? Um, I absolutely agree with him tearing her down. He does that. But she lets him. She lets him. Let's talk about it. She lets him. Uh, if we all collectively don't watch, maybe it will be canceled. Yeah, nah. Uh, he wants her to be home, depressed, going through postpartum. He want he want her to be at her worst. Pay attention to a man that constantly fuels your mind with things you can't do. And you did this. This is your fault. He, uh, if if this don't happen this way, that's on you. And it's like what? <laughs> it take two to tango, gang. What you mean? That's on me. And why does that? Ha why does it have to just be on me? You know. I may be loud as fuck right now, too, because I have a lot of passion in my voice because this is preposterous. You know what I'm saying? Um, why is it that I, it's my fault? And I feel like, you know, when a person consistently tells you that, you know, that's a problem, especially coming from a damn man, girl. Um, they was together at Natalie's brother's birthday party yesterday. She ain't done. Damn. Profiting off of black trauma is crazy. Shut up. They talk about everybody's shit. <laughs> Mind you, how can people say profiting off of black people trauma when they the ones that put out the goddamn trauma? Uh, nobody asked to be in this group chat. But they force us to be in this group chat. I'm not even going to lie. This is crazy to me. The fact that anyone that anyone will want to showcase this type of behavior for rating. Shut up. Um, these comments are killing me because she literally doing this to herself and y'all feel so bad. And I agree with that. Um, I don't understand why this show being promoted instead of being canceled. This is too much toxicity. Uh, she could have walked away from him with no ties, but maybe. And that's bullshit. She wasn't walking away with no ties. That was not happening. Man, he just be saying that, you know, um, just kind of gaslighting that. When he says things like that, I feel like that's a gaslighting uh, thing for him to do. 
Uh, Orlando can't believe Darrell is whooping carry on during the box. Damn, that shit came out today too. I gotta watch the and Jocelyn. Girl, Zeus out here making a coin. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I need to put it out. But listen. Blueface is rude. Um, and he treats women like shit. Okay. But the women that he's with, they allow him to. That's the only place he isn't wrong. Like, I, I'm telling you I'm going to treat you like shit. I don't want to hear no boo-hoo, all that bullshit he be saying. Girl, he don't give a damn about these women. Like, you know, in a way to where he don't care about their mental at all, you know. And they like it. They want to be treated like shit. So we're going to talk about it, okay? Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. See y'all tomorrow.